Now that you've got Blueberry Flashback Express installed on your computer, let's take a look at some of the basic recording features that you'll need to set up in order to get started. So on the basic recorder screen that you have, once you open up the BB Flashback Express recorder, there's a few options that you'll need to set on this main page. The first one that we'll look at in a little bit later session is actually setting the window or area that you're going to be recording. So we'll look at that in more detail in a little bit later. You will need to select uh, that you're going to record sound. Um, we're probably going to be doing that unless you're working with just a presentation that may um, use something other than you talking. And so you will need to set the microphone source that you're using, especially if you have more than one microphone on your computer. And you will want to turn the sound up a good bit so that the user on their end can adjust the volume up or down, but you don't want to record it too low and have them to have to crank their volume all the way up. So make your recording microphone pretty high and then I'll let your user adjust it on their end. You will also want to check the box to minimize the tray while recording. So once you hit the record button, this screen and the other recording screen will automatically minimize down to the toolbar. And that way it won't interfere with whatever you're trying to record on your screen. Now let's take a look at uh, some of the advanced options that you'll need to set as far as how the system is going to handle your recording. So we'll go to tools and options. And so we'll walk through what some different things that you can set up and that you'll want to consider as you're walking through this. So the first one that we're going to look at is setting up your desktop. So this is just some ways that you can kind of clean up your computer depending on how many icons and what type of graphics you have on your desktop. If you are using a little bit older or slower computer, I would recommend checking the first three boxes. It will not only help reduce the file size, but it also helps clean up things on your computer. So it's going to um, turn off some of the graphics. If you've got a lot of stuff on your desktop, it's going to clean that up for you as well. And then down at the bottom, there's some additional features that you can also do. Um, we already have told it to minimize while recording, so you don't have to check that. But if you do have lots of desktop icons on your computer and you're not going to be using those in the recording and you want to hide those just to make sure that you're not showing um, your viewers lots of things that are going on on your computer, you can check to hide that as well. Um, and you can also check to auto-hide the taskbar. But for most of what we're going to be doing because of the way we're going to set the screen size for um, high-definition video, you really won't have to worry about that. And you actually want quick access to the icons on your taskbar anyway, so we'll leave that one alone as well. The next one are your keystrokes. And so you just want to check and make sure that it is set to capture keystrokes and that your password is set to have asterisks um, overwrite that so that if you're trying to show somebody on the screen, um, you probably want them to see what you're typing and let them know that you are typing a password. So make sure that that is set to be on as well. The next one that will be really helpful in your recording is to set hotkeys. And the two that I use on my computer and I actually have two little pieces of tape um, to let me have a visual memory of what these are, and that is the pause and the stop buttons. And so we're going to set both of those. And so on my computer, the stop recording button is just going to be the F9 button. So you pretty much click in that cell, click on the F9 button, and it will set it for you. And the other one is the pause recording, and I have that one set to F8. That way they're at the top of my keyboard. I'm probably not going to be using those um, for normal typing, so they're not going to interfere with me pausing and stopping the recording. And they're at the top of the screen. That way I've got a little bit of room there at the top to mark those so I can quickly and easily remember how to stop and pause the recording. And we'll look at how to best use those a little bit later in the session. And the last two things we're going to look at, first of all, in the miscellaneous tab here, um, we do want to check and make sure that the show the countdown for recording is there. It just kind of gives you a little bit more visual. Once you click recording, it's going to give you a three, two, one, so you can kind of get yourself ready for the recording. And the last thing in the advanced options, we do want to check and make sure that the very first advanced option, compress MP3, um, when the recording stops. And so you want that to do that after you finish recording, not trying to do that while you're recording. Um, it may affect some of the quality of your video a little bit if it's trying to process that sound quality while you're recording. So check and make sure that that is marked. And so those are the basic settings um, for getting everything set up for your recording. In the next session, we'll look at getting things uh, set up for recording in high definition and what settings you'll need to do for that.